Yeah, good day team. How we doing? Today I'm going to take you through making shadow cloth. This is for those of you who are unsure of where to actually go, what to do, how to make it, and the cooldown, etc. So let's get straight into it. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. The way I've done it is I am uh, with the Scryer as my Shadowbreath City uh, faction. <clears throat> Therefore, it opens up the Sanctum of the Stars to me. As this is a scryer only town, if you're Eldor, do not even think of coming here. This allows me to set my hearthstone here, to fly here, all that good business. So what we're going to do is pretend that I don't have that. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your way to Shatrath. From there, you're going to take your merry self all the way through the zone into Shadow Moon Valley. Once you're in Shadow Moon Valley, you're going to make your way all the way down to Wildhammer Stronghold, making sure to grab the Griffin Master. Give him the old hey ho, and carry on down to the Sanctum of the Stars. Now, the route we're going to take is as follows we're going to be coming down the path, and we're going to be making our way basically through this green river to this spot here which is where we make the actual shadow cloth. Now I'm going to do this in 60% uh, mount because I'm slow, I have no money, and <clears throat> that's about it really. Cool, so watch this way for perfect demonstration. There's also a level 70 Turin Shaman, who will give him the old wave. What's he doing? Yeah, right -o. Cool, right, so what we're going to do? So if you follow the map, we're going to be going up here, and then we're going to be taking a left turn down the Bell River. Now, this is the way I do it, and you can do it however you want. This is how I'm doing it as a level 62 Shadow Priest. So I shield up, check on all the buffs. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, that'll do. Now, you can just jump down. There's no need to levitate. That's just for fun, really. So you're going to chuck on your mount. Make sure you've got a full shield. Make sure you've got a health potion. Make sure you have whatever you need. Um, again, you don't need it. I do this on my level 60 warlock as well. Uh, and he is, you know, he's got a health stone. He's got potions, but there's no need to. There's no need to have it at all. So all you're doing is running along the river, as you can see, following it through. Trying not to stand in the, uh, oh, there we go. Trying not to do that. Oh, yep, go, cool. all right. Basically just, uh, you can pause back there if you wanted to. It's up to you. Might not be able to. We're gonna run this way. So we're coming in and around, back onto the green stuff. Saying hello to our uh, friendly lizard here as well. Shocking one with the shield. And making our way over here. Sometimes you have uh, elementals here, but they're actually fairly often getting farmed. Basically, you run through everything and you get to the altar. Perfect. Once you're at the altar, open up your old spellcloth. Uh, shadow cloth tailoring whether it's specialization or not bring it up and make it with your bolt of imbued nether weave primal fire and primal shadow <coughs> perfect it has basically the same cooldown as anything else um any of the other specialty cloths yep not much else to say on that one make your way here Make your way through. Now your biggest concern is basically going to be the river itself. It will destroy you fast, so don't step in it. Cool. Well, I'll leave it there, team. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.